guys, uh, this is Raminda and I'm doing my week 37 video. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. My doctor's appointment was Wednesday. It's Friday today. And um, let's see. I had my first internal examination as well as the strep B test, which is where they stick a um, Q-tip swab thing up your hoo-ha and up your bang bang <laughs> both areas yeah it's kind of um, disturbing when they say they tell you you know I'm gonna take a sample from both areas or whatever all right and so you're like okay so they take a sample from the hoo-ha and then and then uh, you, <laughs> you still don't expect it when they stick it up the air there and you're like Woo! <laughs> it's like I feel bad for guys who have to get examined in the area oh my gosh very uncomfortable and very like uncomfortable <laughs> so far I've gained 25 pounds which is good I'm uh, kind of in the same area as when Pierce when I had Pierce the guy was 28 pounds or so yeah like 28 pounds by the time I had him 28 to 30 pounds I think. which is good that's normal for the last two or three appointments, I think, I've had slightly elevated, just a little bit, um, blood pressure and a little bit, just a tiny bit more um, protein in my blood. It's like, here's the good area you're supposed to be in. I'm in the second one. It's kind of like, it's still fine, but it's a little elevated and then there's like four more after that. So I'm fine. It's just a little higher than usual. So she checked me internally and she said I'm half a centimeter dilated. And the baby's low, but not dropped. I thought the baby was dropped, but I guess not. Um, but she's low. And a lot of times I was reading up on it, and um, for people who've had a baby before, you don't actually, sometimes you don't even drop until you're like in full active labor. So it doesn't, I mean, the baby being dropped, I guess it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> I'm still measuring about a week ahead. I keep telling everyone that I'm due January 3rd, but I've had two due dates given to me. The January 3rd due date is from my doctor based on a calendar, um, my last menstrual period, and like I think measurement to in the beginning. And then the second due date I was given was from the ultrasound people, and they gave me December 28th. So that's like five days difference, um, almost a whole week. So maybe that's why I'm still measuring about a week ahead. I could be due, you know, late December instead of early January. Um, which, with my luck, I'll be in the hospital on Christmas. I'm having skin problems. This is a pimple, yes. Hello pimple, hello. Yeah, I have a pimple and very oily skin. Oh, I didn't even write this down. I have like a list of things to talk about. <laughs> but I forgot about this. I'm having the worst sleep ever. Um, not only just because it's hard to find a position that's comfortable, but my hips are on fire all night long. Oh my gosh, there's so much pain in my hips. And I'll wake up and switch positions for like the hundredth time and... Um, uh, Oh my gosh, it hurts. I want to like whimper. I do whimper. I whimper. I'm like, oh, 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 in the middle of the night when I'm moving. Or Oh my gosh, I've never had this much pain in my hips before. With Pierce, yeah, there's pain. There was pain when I was pregnant with him in my hips and stuff. But golly, golly, it hurts. <laughs> I need to walk more. I do. But it's like bad weather. Maybe I should take a trip to the mall and just stroll around the mall. <laughs> I am getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. Past couple days, um, I have been getting them on top of each other. I'm like, okay, I'm timing this, and um, and they're like five minutes apart, six minutes apart, ten minutes apart, four minutes apart. You know, like it goes up and down within the the area where it's not supposed to. I guess. Well, I guess it is. I have full term. So. But, um, and then they'll stop <laughs> for like an hour. So, I mean, it's just, it happens all day long consistently. 
The baby is moving a lot. When the doctor was prodding my tummy, she like totally fisted her. She's like, yeah, power to the doctor. And the doctor's like, oh, she just punched me with her fist. How cute. And I'm like, what? I've never felt her fist before. How dare you feel her fist before I do? Actually, I've never felt anything low. I, whenever I lay down to feel the baby down there, it's like, I can never feel anything. I don't know. I can only feel her up above the belly button area. Um, like body parts, I mean. I could feel her moving around down there, but like her head and her little hands and stuff. But I can't f find them. <laughs> Oh, sometimes when I walk, um, my back will like spasm, and my my right leg usually gives out. Like <laughs> I get this weird pain, and my my right leg gives out. I'm like, what? What just happened? And it really hurts. And it's yeah. like sudden, and it will happen for like five steps in a row, and then it'll go away. Uh, yeah, that's fun. Let me just do that going down the stairs and kill myself. You know. That'd be fun. I bought the Medela double pump, pump in style, finally, and um, excited to use it. It's still in the box. I still have the receipt. I'm not going to open it up because you can't, if you open it up, you can't return it. I'm not going to play with it until I start to need to pump. Um, just because I don't know... Like, if my body produces all the milk I need for the little one, and I'd find I don't really need to pump at all, and I can just do it in public, I'm comfortable with it, I can return the pump and get my money back. But, um, but if I have problems with supply and, um, I need to pump, then I will, and I'll open it up and use it. I probably will use it, I'm sure, because, you know, um traveling and stuff it's good to have milk on hand but it'd be nice to just do exclusive breastfeeding and just it's faster because when you pump you have to pump and then you have to feed and with breastfeeding you just feed and it's done over faster and stuff oh my baby's such a cuddle baby look at him oh i also bought a new car seat it's the Graco car seat infant car seat or whatever and it's in the color laguna bay it's a pretty kind of dark teal um, color and some checks so it's very gender neutral so um, I don't have to worry about uh, you know if I have when we have a third child worry about sticking which one in which car seat and it's a pretty I mean it's really pretty it can be really girly and it can be really boy boy -y, boy -y. so yeah that's what we got <sighs> I haven't installed it yet it's not that hard so I'm not worried probably should wherever we go we need to put the car seats in there <laughs> Both of them. And now we have no room in our car. Just the whole car is full of car seats. Anyway, I'm going to show the belly. Woo! Look at that belly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this. How big I've gotten. Look at the shape. Oh. Yes. It really does look like I swallowed a watermelon. I hope she comes out soon. Very, very, very soon since she's all green now to come out. I am really done with being pregnant. I'm super duper uncomfortable. And I can't wait to meet my little girl. I can't wait to be a family of four. And I'm really excited. I hope she comes before Christmas, so... Oh my gosh, so I can hold her and, oh my gosh, I really, I really can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Can I say that one more time? I'm excited! So, okay, that's the end of my very long video and uh, hopefully be here next week. Hopefully. No, no, no. I hope I won't be here any longer. I hope I go to labor now! But um, my, my week 38 video I will post next week, so... Thanks for watching my week 37, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.